Hey guys, today we're going to get started with installing Visual Studio Community Edition and .NET 5. Now our journey begins here on the Visual Studio website, which you can get to through a simple Google search, or you can try to reproduce this URL, which is visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash community. Now there are different edi editions of Visual Studio and community is the one that is free for individual use and that's the one that we will use. So you can go ahead and download Visual Studio which will give you the Visual Studio installer. And once that is completed, you can go ahead and run that file, go through any security checkpoints that you might have, but you may proceed to allow the installer to begin. Now, this is where you actually define what Visual Studio will be capable of. So these are called workloads and each workload will expose a different feature set to you. So for web development, you'll want to get the ASP.NET and web development workload. For desktop development, you want to get the .NET desktop development workload. And for any other SDK or type of project that you may want to develop, you can go ahead and get the workload associated with it. Now for this exercise, we want to prepare our Visual Studio with the necessary resources for web development. Once again, you can go ahead and tick as many of these workloads. Each one will come with its own size and it tells you how much space is required based on the ones that you select. But at minimum for web development, you want to make sure you have ASP.NET and web development ticked. You can go ahead and tick the other development tools if you wish, but I'm not going to do that because these are all .NET Framework 6 and 4 and 4.8, 4.6, sorry, 4.7 and 4.8, but we're going to be installing .NET 5 in a few minutes. So you can go ahead and do this and let Visual Studio install. This will take a while so you can grab a cup of coffee and come back. Now, once that download and installation is completed, you have two options. You can go ahead and sign in and sign in, meaning you sign in with your live account. If you have one, if not, then you go ahead and create one. It's free and it makes life easier if you just create one and actually sign in. But I'll just go ahead with the not now, maybe later option. And then you choose your general setting. So I like the dark theme and you can choose whether you want web development settings or general i'll just leave mine on general even though we're doing web development but they basically just optimize certain keyboard shortcuts and the layout based on your selection i'll leave mine on general and i'll start with visual studio all right so once that initial prep is done you're going to be prompted with this now if you don't get this then that's fine but here is why I would have suggested that you sign in with your live account because now you have a 30 day trial period and if you don't have the account then they'll basically just tell you to exit. So you can actually just go ahead and sign in. So I'm just going to sign in with my own. And once you have signed in then you'll see that it is now licensed to you and it just looks a bit more inviting. So now instead of exiting Visual Studio I can close and well this is visual studio at the very basic level now we have visual studio what we also need is dotnet 5 so you can get to the dotnet 5 download page through a simple google search once again or you try to reproduce this url whichever one you find easier to do at this point you want to download the sdk and the runtime so let me start by closing visual studio because it needs to install extensions for it and the installer is always available for you so if you fail to add a workload just so you know you can actually just click modify and then it will relaunch that page with all the workloads so if later on you wanted to do something new you just need to modify get that workload and then you will get those project templates accordingly I'm going to close Visual Studio, however, so we can continue with our installation. So we'll get the .NET 5. Now you can see that the SDK is available based on your OS. I have a Windows 64-bit OS working with right now. So I'll go ahead and download that. And while that one is downloading, I'm just going to hit the back button and go over to the runtime, which is absolutely necessary for hosting. So you see, it's the IIS runtime support. So if you're going to be hosting the .NET 5 application on a local server, then you definitely need the runtime. So you can just get this hosting bundle that they have there available for download. So you can just download both. And when they're both finished, we 
So when the SDK is finished, you can go ahead and install that one. First, it shouldn't take too long. And okay, so it's successful. After we've installed the SDK, then we want to just make sure that we have the runtime also, agree to anything and go ahead and run your installation and it will let you know when it is successfully completed. Now that we have the SDKs completely installed, I just want to launch Visual Studio and show you what you get with those SDKs. So if I go ahead and create a brand new project, because of the workloads that I have available to me, I will see different project templates. So I only chose the web workload. So I have the ability to do a regular console app I have the ASP.NET Core. As a matter of fact, I think that this one comes because of the desktop workload, but at this point, I'm not trying to figure out which workload belongs to which. Just know that if you are going to be doing a web project, you have the option to choose a .NET Core web application, a Blazor application, and you can choose them whether you, well, .NET Core or .NET Framework. So I'm going to choose a .NET Core web application uh, this is not the actual application that we're building. I'm just showing you your options. So when we go ahead, put the project name, click create. Then from the drop down list here, you can choose whether you want a core 2.1, core 3.1, or the latest .NET Core 5.0. And with that, you will be able to choose the different templates and proceed. So when we come back, we'll actually create a project and do a tour of the folder structures.